Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, well, welcome to uh, Monday night on Steady Eddie Live. And if you are watching this on replay, uh, a very warm welcome to you. And apologies for the for the lousy internet. Uh, a bit about if you're watching this on replay, uh, Streamyards recommended that uh, that tip anyway. Anyway, it's Monday. Geez, I'm sounding like David Frost now, aren't I? Anyway, it's Monday night. Apologies for the internet to everyone. Let's just hope for the best. If it's rubbish, to, to, to just recap uh, well, what I said the other, the other night, it's going to be about another four weeks before my internet can be replaced by a newer, better, more up-to-date model. So let's just hope for the best anyway. Just got to make deal with what I've got for now. And if it's rubbish, then it's, it's, it's rubbish. As long, as long as you can... As long as you can hear me and I can read your comments, we can have a bit of a show. So if anyone wants to tell me how the um, how the internet's doing, but before I do that, Nicholas, hello Nicholas, nice to hear from you, mate. Um, Sean Harris, good evening. Sean Young, evening, as you looking forward to an hour or two of your scouts. Well, 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 to be honest with you, I mean, if I could get an hour or two, I think it'd be surprising. The internet might might um some days it's better than others. I mean, but it's pretty rubbish right now. So we'll have to see what we can do, really. Matthew Cartwright, good evening. Bye for me, Enders. Good evening, mate. Brian Street, yeah, good evening to you. Sean Harris, what's the big question tonight? It's whatever you want to talk about, but I'm seeing all kinds of things in the news, and, and there's one that's that, that is a little bit teensy weensy bit in interesting. And um, oh, we, we will talk about that. Nicholas, internet problems three minutes late. No, actually, to be, to be honest with you, it's because I actually woke up late. I had my uh, late, late afternoon sleep, which went well into the early evening. And by the time I, could, I found out of bed, it was dark. And, um, uh, you know, so anyway, I'm here anyway now. Natal in the buff Vietnamese lady. How big are you down there? Mind your own bloody business. Uh, Bitman, even that house tricks. Not to, not to, oh yeah, an important announcement to me. Well, it's important to me anyway. So I'll make, I'll make that later. I'll make that announcement in a minute. Ed Sweeney, 20 Stone White, back in England. Okay, nice to hear from you. Uh, <clears throat> doesn't matter how big it is, it'll get bloody lost up here. The real just for Ang, Johnny B, hello. Johnny B, you look pixelating. Oh, why? Thank you, Johnny. That's so kind of you. Uh, the, uh, let's see. John Atkinson, good evening, Mr. Steady. Okay, good evening uh, to John. Nicholas, go away for four weeks. Well, I think I've had only travels. I had, I had four months, didn't I, recently? Still recovering from that. Uh, Carl, nice to hear from you. David Coleman. Hi, Eddie, what's up today? Let's find something good to chat about. Okay, I will do in a moment. I will do in a, in a moment. See, there's, there's still quite a few people there. Borders, Boy, Capitolian, Tinks, Lux. Uh, hello to you all. Wayne Kerr. Tan the man, scuff petty, yeah. Okay. Stephen Sorty. Nice to from him. Hard Julep. Sky broadband five is great. I've been over for five years. Totally, totally separate from Sky. Well, I mean, my problem is getting it fitted. I mean, you know, they just can't do it until beginning of May. You know, so it's not for me. I've got another, another four weeks, weeks to go. David Merchant, hello. Mr. St McClendon, if one is, I, Mr. Steady, how the devil are you? We don't care about the quality of the internet. You're the, okay, nice to hear from you, Air Clive. Anyway, that's really, really kind of you. Uh, so, okay, so Joe Hart, Ivan, Michael Janaeus, Tandra, uh, uh, hello, Tandra. Any, Tandra suge suggested that the um, the planet thing I've got in the background, uh, you, you know, is, is, is a little bit better. I will be getting the green screen. But the thing is, at this moment in time, I, I don't really see the point. Nothing's going to be perfect with the image quality of this. I have poor internet right now, so I can only wait until it, it gets replaced. But uh, nice to hear from you, Tandra. Uh, let's see, Sean Adams. Sean Adams, Ed, with your internet playing up, do you manage to stream movies okay? Uh, no, no. I've got Netflix and I've got Amazon, and I can't really... Can't really watch either of them. Just can't watch them. It just, you know, they just log out after a few after a few minutes. So it's a good job I've got a DVD and I have loads of old movies there. You know where, uh, you know, in reserve.
In Thailand, so I, I had it. Why don't they fix your internet connection while you wait for an upgrade? You're paying with a poor service, but still watchable and enjoyable. Well, it's a poor, if, 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 if I can do anything, it's better than nothing, really. Brian Street, debate question. I, yeah, let's, let's see. I'll put that on the screen. Brian Street, debate question. That was at the end of social media by the end of the year. Uh, well, well, you you could put that up, could put that on there, but I don't know. I think social media is too inveterate by now. It's too established. I think it takes a stage to be honest with you. Don't know anyone else is, but thanks for that anyway, Brian. <clears throat> Let's see, Barry for me standers. Where's the squeaky door? It's that way. Let's see, McLennan one. Club fillers, R.A.P. Britney Spears. No, never, never. Unless you're playing, no, never, never. I have an about that. <clears throat> Britney Spears. Oh my God, terrible singer. She made some of the worst bloody records ever, and then she became a she became a uh, uh, she became quite 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 famous, didn't she? Yeah, Johnny. B. I'll put down the screen. Johnny likes his travels. That's worth putting on. I've just been to fly to Spain in May, twenty-five pound return. Absolute, but that's oh, good for you, Johnny. That sounds bloody good. Maybe you want to give us the details of that. That sounds fantastic. May, um, you know, you go into summer then, huh? you know, you can still get a bit of rain in May. Um, but you know what they say: the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. Well, that's what they used to say anyway. But yeah, good for good for you, mate. That sounds bloody good. David Coleman. I have more bars and the rest in Puka for the old well, well, we don't want any of that. We do we certainly don't want any of that. Saves them bloody right. I mean saves the saves the bars right if they allow that sort of thing. <clears throat> the real touch for Ang. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's see. John Atkinson. See the MCV is back 30 days. Yeah, that's in Thailand. Well, it was only ever temporary, wasn't it? Which is really dumb. I mean, you know, I think people like the 45 day visa. I like the 45 day, uh, day visa. I got the 45 day visa when I first arrived at um Colipe, and uh, that was great. That enabled me to plan my last six weeks in, in Thailand. Jamie296. The sound is fine. The plain background would compress better lead to a small data stream and uh, less data. Okay. David Eismig, I thought that. Number 14. Perhaps, you know, let's put that on the screen. That sounds romantic, that does. Oh, by the way, this is hot chocolate that I'm drinking. I'm actually drinking hot chocolate. Now, when have you ever known me to drink that? Oh, it's like, don't forget about it. I'm not long since woke up. That's bloody good, that. Bloody good. Number 14, boxing. Perhaps tonight is the night when you'll tell us the one place that you would never visit again. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't think of it. We'd we done this the, 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 other, the other night, didn't we? We did actually do this question and right at the end, and somebody said, I can't actually think, you know, the one place I'd never visit again. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't actually think what, what that is. Because even when you're traveling, there's some place that didn't work well for me, like India or Bulgaria. But you know what? That's not to say that I wouldn't visit them again, because maybe maybe I just didn't do it right. Maybe, maybe a, you know, it's like... I've, I've watched movies. I've watched a, you know, a well-known movie, and I thought, this is going to be good, and I haven't liked it. And I've actually gone back and watched it a second time, and I and it, it's improved. You know, I've seen what people say. That, so I couldn't actually think, what is the one place I've ever visited? Well, all right, Blackpool. Never visit Blackpool again. Let's see. Okay, so let me see now. Uh, Sean Harris, Ed, do you reckon the pr price of flights will get you will get cheaper? Anita? I don't know. Let's see. Let's put that on the screen. Let's see who, who knows the answers to that one. Who knows the secrets of the black magic box? Sean Harris, as you reckon, the price of flights will get cheaper anytime. I mean, I, I the last flight that I had that I purchased was uh, the return ticket by Eva Airways from London to Bangkok. 
And as you do that, well, that's a one be beginning of May. No, sorry, we one beginning of uh, November. So I think I probably will have booked that round about last summertime. I think it was around about last summertime or, so, or something like that. And that was a good price flight. But I think that from what I've glanced about flights nowadays, I just think that they're just they're not coming down anytime soon. I mean, inflation, you know, once it goes up, it just doesn't come down again, does it? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So who, who knows to see that? See that? I mean, who knows where the fuel's going to go up again, and they have to increase the price. Uh, uh, the flight is not good. What I will say, it doesn't look good for the low season in Thailand, does it? Because I mean, if the flights were really cheap, some people who don't normally go to places like Thailand in the low season may be tempted to think, "Oh, I couldn't resist that flight so cheap that I couldn't resist that." Because I've done that in the in the past. I once went in May, and uh, you know, Royal Jordanian Airways, I just couldn't resist booking it. But the thing with high uh, uh, prices for flights, people will be less less inclined to think like that. You know, someone who's Maybe got the month of June uh, to spare. We'll see where, you know, if you're seeing a really bargain flight to Bangkok, you might think, yo, whiz, oh, let's have that. But if it's not a bargain, if it's expensive, you'll think, nah, give that a miss. Give that a miss. So I don't think it's going to be a very, very good low season for, uh, for, for Thailand this year. And um, <clears throat> and also, you know, the prices of flights, I mean, that's the final nail in the coffin, isn't it? So let's see. But this boy, social media is here to stay. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't live without it. Ah, oh, Sheila, Britney Spears, bubblegum pop music. No, I think the word is crap. Uh, <clears throat> Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson, would you consider well, actually your squeaky dose of subscribers? It would fetch six figures. No, I, I'd rather give away the Mona Lisa personally. Let's see. Harry Holt. Yeah, Harry, Harry. We've been talking about a variety of things in the show. We want to talk about Britney Spears. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? This cocoa is like, not cocoa. It's it's hot chocolate. Very nice on the throat. Harry Holt. Ed, Britney is class. She's still fair game. Forget the music. Just easy on the, on the, on the eyes. Oh, yeah, she's a sassy little chick. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. She's a sassy little chick. But some of the bloody songs, popular songs. She's done a couple of decent tunes and a lot of really awful ones. And her voice, I mean, I don't like her singing voice at all. And uh, she, was, she went through her face, didn't she, when she, she was behaving really, really bizarrely. And um, and I think one of her one of her bodyguards said something about it, which wasn't nice. You know, um, he said she's actually really vulgar. You know, she's really really vulgar. And I don't like vulgar vulgar women, definitely not. Uh, let's see, but let's see. Okay, Paul Hoskin, Paul Hoskin, what are we talking about? We're talking about things such varied as hot chocolate. Uh, the drink, uh, not 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 the pop group. Uh, Britney Spears has been mentioned. Oh, okay, and um, squeaky uh, the auction of the squeaky door. A diverse variety of things tonight. Uh, nice to hear from you, Paul. Anyway, so there is there is a big question coming up, and it's worth talking about. Capo seventeen first mobile phone call made, uh, made today. Yeah, I did see something like that. Mark Oliver posted a, 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 a you know a link to that on Facebook. Yeah, that's interesting. Let, let's honor, honor that the first mobile phone. I think it was about um, six. No, 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 no. It wasn't six years later. It was about, it was about 26 years later before I, I got onto it. Let's see. Ben, man, do you think the Thai bar will even get back to where it was a few years ago? I bought some last week at 38 to the UK pound. Well, who knows? I mean, who knows, you know, what, what currencies are going to do? I mean, I, I, I remember the days when it was 73 to the pound, uh, the, uh, you know, the Thai bars. Uh, you, you, you bought some at 38 to the UK pound. Well, that's not good. Because I'm sure that I see it touch 42 to the pound yesterday. So perhaps you bought that at the wrong place. But 
42 to a pound. I still think it's poor, but it's it's been worse. It's been worse. Now, who knows? No, when it comes to predicting currencies and all that, I don't think anybody really knows anything. It just is what it is, really. Number number 14. Uh, what is it? Number 14 box. Eddie, what advice you give to young men between 20 to 30? Something that, <laughs> something they may not know and would help them succeed in life. Um, I, I, I have plenty of fun at that age. I have plenty of fun. 20 to 30, went to me. 20 to 30, that's like they're kids, they are, you know, 20 to 30 year old. That's that's still it's like it's it's young adults, or you know, it's it's the end of your childhood. It's it's, it's young adulthood, and uh, you know, get, get, I tell you what, you know, a bit of advice: don't settle down with a missus and kids, whatever you do. I mean, at, at that age, go and fill your boots. You know, you know, go and chase the women. Like, you know, go and fill your boots, have a bit of fun, and then maybe later, later on, consider, you know, trying to make something your life. But have a bit of fun, twenty to thirty, because if you can have a bit of fun. Uh, you know, that's something that you'll never, ever regret. You're only young once. And if you had a crap childhood, uh, then come 20s to 30s, you know, that's your last chance of actually salvaging something of your youth. 20 to 30 is not your childhood. You've already had that, that, that thing, whether it was any good or not. But 20 to 30, that is your youth. And enjoy it. You know, that's, that's your youth. Get, get out and enjoy yourself. And then, yeah, you know, make, make 30s. That's, the time to really make plans for your future okay there you go <clears throat> so johnny b it's johnny b okay johnny b are you off the video today is april the third okay 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 in the early hours of this morning uh sunday night you know a good friend of mine coming around we we yeah you know to this to get you know bladder together you know we have we have beers and all, all of that but in the early hours of this morning, I had the last bottle of beer in the fridge. And I had about that much of rum, a few, a few, you know, glasses of rum in the early hours of this morning. And I consumed that. I emptied the bottle. And that's it. I've got no more alcohol. I've got no more alcohol. There is no more alcohol in this house. And there is not likely to be any more alcohol ever in this house i'm off the alcohol i am off the alcohol i have it's, it's it's been almost four weeks since i've come back now and i said you know right that last bottle of beer was hanging around for a long time before i finally not just just you know you know just drank it and um i i haven't had any wine I, i'm off the alcohol i'm not i'm not saying i'm teetotal i hate that bloody word it's a horrible namby pamby word that one but I, I, I am not going to be drinking any booze, any alcohol. I'm going to be clean living from now on. So while I'm in the UK, uh, I'm not bringing any more alcohol into, into, into home. I'm drinking, you know, nice lemonades and ginger beer, diet lemonade and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm drinking a nice, what should we call it right now, a cup of hot chocolate. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm now alcohol free. So I expect my liver to do its duty and start repairing itself. So yeah, April the third. This is the day when, from now on, I'm, I'm alcohol free. Now, when I, but people are saying, yeah, but how about when you go travelling again in a hot climate? And my answer is, well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, you know, it'd be nice if I could be in a hot climate and think, you know, I want a bottle of water. But um, we'll see about that. I'll cross that bridge when I come to, come to it. But from now on, now on, from now on, I'm cured. I am cured. I am no longer a late night alcoholic. I've ditched the booze. I've ditched the beer, the wine, the spirits. I'm off it now. I'm off it. I'm free. I'm, and I'm, I'm eating more healthier than before. The one thing I need to do is to maybe a little bit, maybe do a little teensy weensy bit more exercise, but I'm firming up. I feel like I'm losing a little bit of weight. I mean, the alcohol, the amount of calories that I was taking in. In alcohol, oh, it was ridiculous. Bloody big boxes of beer and all, ridiculous. No, I've thrown it all out now. No, no longer drinking any more alcohol. Okay, okay. So thanks for asking, anyway, Johnny. 
David Coleman, someone said something stupid about mail. Like, well, people say stupid things about mail all the time. That's that's social media for you. That's trolls, that's social media. That hot chocolate's bloody good. Bloody good. Somebody said, if you want late night drinks, try hot chocolate or Horlicks. So I bought both of them. But what I've, what I've noticed with the Horlicks, I haven't opened the jar because you have to have you have to do that with milk. And I don't want to be drinking them late at night because that'd be too calorific, that will. Yeah. Let's see, Brittany have many classics, naughty, but classics, I don't think Brittany and classics go together somehow. Sean Harris, I know you're a rock music fan, but do you like any punk or new wave music? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what, there is only, there, uh, well, I used to like punk rock, I used to like it in the 1970s, it was actually quite short-lived, and a lot of those bands were kind of embarrassed by punk rock, and they started calling themselves new wave. Uh, they wanted to, wanted to dissociate. But there was one band from the 1970s, from that era, in terms of their talent, that absolutely tower ahead of the others. And you, I can still listen to their music today. And that is the wonderful Stranglers. They, they were, the Stranglers were brilliant. They made some great tunes. They had wonderful keyboards. They were, they were a wonderful band. They were by a mile the best um, uh, punk new wave band, and I can I can still listen to the to the uh, to the Stranglers today. And some of their songs were unbelievably clever. Walking on the beaches, looking at the beaches, do do do. Oh, even as open, even as open and live in that song is clever. Strolling along, minding my own business. Yeah, mate, that's what we all say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, absolutely. The strangler, a strangler's by a mile the best ones. By a mile. Thanks for that question. Sean Young, off to psych on early May. Can't wait. Good for you, mate. Good for you. You'll love it there. Good for you. Let's see. Bath Simpson, Canary Island. Uh, I wonder if, uh, I don't, I think Johnny B is going to Spain. Uh, I know the Canary Islands is one of the Spanish, but the Canary Islands is nice. Grand Canary is anyway. Borders Boy, that island Colipe looked like one of the best islands you visited there, the Paradise Island. Yeah, it was a paradise island. Petty about that bloody bamboo hot thing. I won't stay in one of them again. Don't stay in one of them. But yet the island's lovely. Island's lovely. Mister, stay away from ace inhibitors as there are fortunes made. Selkin. Okay. All right. Thank you for that one. But since I'm in Canbay Island. Canbay Island? Where's Canbay Island? Oh, Bartu, Canberra Island. Yeah, Brian Street. Brian, Brian Street. Hot chocolate. What's, what's he got? Brian Street, hot chocolate, you sexy day. Oh, yeah, good, good tune. Good, good, good tune. They done some nice tunes, hot chocolate, really. He was a character, wasn't he? Yeah, Errol Brown. Apparently, where he lived, he, he drove. He was a cool character with his bald end. And, you know, yeah, he, was, he was cool. He was cool. Yeah, let's see. <coughs> Let me see. Paul Laskin, how many John Wick films will there be? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <coughs> well, I watched one of them. It was all right. It was watchable anyway. Bart Simpson, Saigon 700. Uh, is that quid? Direct from Heathrow in Autumn. Cheap to go. Well, that's good to go to Saigon direct. I don't think I've ever been from London to, to Saigon direct. I don't think, and no, I think I've always gone by somewhere else, Kuala Lumpur or Bangkok or whatever. So, uh, if you've got that, that sounds pretty good. Brian Street. Brian Street. Oil prices going up again, so no, they will be there. It's not good news, is it, for flight prices? It's not good news. For, well, it's, it's not good news for travellers. It really, really isn't. Let's see. Uh, Bart Simpson says he got that one returned as well. That's good. Nicholas, good luck with passport strikes. My passport, my 10-year passport, needs re uh, renewing next year. So hopefully I'll, I'll make sure that I get it done and dusted uh, long before it's due to run out. Uh, it'll be all right for this year, but next year it needs renewing. And I know that you've got to renew it six months before. Tim Hill, 
David Col David Coleman. David Coleman, I'm going over to see my Filipino Filipino woman tonight. I'm saving on the airfare. Oh, get on, but that's ooh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. That sounds like on, on a on a cold Monday night to head over to see your your hot hot lady. Oh, let's get it on. <laughs> oh well, my God, I am on Monday night anyway. Good luck to you, David. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Yeah, let's let's say okay. What's uh... Ed Swims twenty so wife back in England. Have you ever had a threesome? You questioning me about you know what my extracurricular activities? Uh, have you ever had a threesome? Oh God! Do you think I'm going to go into details on air? Do you? You dirty cow. Okay, Bad Simpson, Dover. Anyway, besides, if I was to give you details, it would only sound like I was boasting. I don't want to do that. Tampa guy. OPEC announced they are cutting production in a year. Flights will be more. Oh, good. not good. That's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Michael says, no way price of fuel is going up again. I reckon the prices will stay high. No way. Yeah, so we, the consensus is that flight prices are just going to go up, up, up. They're not going to get any better. But... Let me see. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, what, what for you know, how many calories in our chat? It's a couple. Of, I usually have a couple of them. I, I, I drink one of them and I find it so nice that I have to have another one straight afterwards, which is exactly what I am going to do. It's Capri's hot chocolate. In case you just tuned in, to recap on the exciting life of Eddie, my internet is lousy. But if I've done, I've actually done one major, and one major, major, major thing since I've returned uh, back to this country. I've kicked the booze. I have kicked the booze, and that is, if I've done nothing else, that's something that's worth doing. Johnny Atkinson. The, see the second row the end of sewing made in Thailand is getting 60 new bars that are being pulled I don't know. I mean, right, right now, I mean, I love Pattaya, but I never go in that area of Pattaya anyway. I, I don't really. Soy made in Thailand, I don't bother with that. I don't bother with that area anyway. Woofy Nons, you ever tried bottle? Oh, no, I don't like the sound. It's like a beef. To, oh, I, I know you like beef care, so maybe give it a try. I don't think I've ever had that. I mean, it's it's not something that I'd want to eat late at night. I mean, Bovril, if it tastes like, if it's like a beef drink, that's more of a food, really, than a drink, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know the point of, um, of all of that. Hard tulip, Trump's arrest topic. Should we, should we talk about that to, 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 you know, to, tomorrow night when we've got a little bit more details? We've got to be careful what we talk about. But there's something else to talk about today, which I'm going to talk about. Brian Street. Brian Street, okay. This is a somber, a somber one. I was happy that prick got 42 years for shooting that night. Oh, that's uh, that. That is just absolutely, it's absolutely dreadful. Uh, you know, the thing about, the thing about well, yeah, absolutely, he deserved, he deserved that and, and, and more. But, um, you know, I, I've got, got not, not a good feel, feeling about that because was the, was the evidence... That he was convicted on was the evidence rock solid beyond all doubt because it didn't look to I, I it didn't look to me that it was don't forget there's been other people other killers or supposed killers who have been banged up in prison and late later you know a few years later they've been released because of insufficient evidence or unstable evidence that that chappy it was supposedly supposedly killed Jill Dando. Uh, you know, about uh, 20, 20, 30 years, 25 years ago, something like that. They eventually arrested the guy. They didn't know who it was. It was a shock. They eventually arrested somebody called, I think his name was Barry George, and they put him in prison for it. He was a local misfit who uh, liked guns. But then just a few years later, they found that the, the evidence was unstable and they had to release him. So, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't want to comment on a, you know, on a case like this, even though it's not an ongoing case. So I think... 
Uh, but it, it's absolutely dreadful. Absolutely, yeah. He's he's going to be popular when he gets inside, isn't he? He's you know he's he's going to get a warm welcome from the from the other uh, you know convicts when he gets inside prison. But um, I, I you know but, but I did not see see anything that was absolutely solid with regards to the evidence. They didn't show he wasn't caught on CCTV with an image of his face. Was it? Was he? He, he, he wasn't, you know, there was CCT footage, but not actually with his face, you know. Was there any, was he convicted on DNA and all this kind of stuff? I don't know. I just I just hope they've got the right man. I just hope they've got the right man. Uh, uh, it's, it's very, but very, very sad for that young child and uh, very, very sad, very, very sad. So anyway, let's let's move on from that one. Let's see. Uh, Neil Fleet, nice to hear from you. I was, I was, I was, uh, I was Lisa Dale. Uh, Neil Fleet loves going to Gambia. <coughs> he may just have glimpsed Lisa Dale there, but uh, you know, but Neil, <coughs> Neil loves his Gambian holidays, and if he wants to give us some information about it sometime, you know, may, maybe, maybe when, uh, you know, what would be nice, what would be lovely, if when the internet gets back together, because they can't really have guests on, but it would be lovely to have someone like Neil come on. And tell us all about Gambia. I, I think I really like that. Anyway, nice to hear from you, Neil. Stephen Sotti, uh, that's that's interesting, yeah. Uh, Stephen Sotti, in order for flights to become cheaper, there needs to be more competition. London, Bangkok seems to have only three carriers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, if this, you know, if, if bloody Ryanair or something could do a flight from London to. God, that'll be like, well, you've got Scoot Airways. I, I went on Scoot Airways uh, uh, last year, a one-way ticket from Bangkok to London, and that cost me 271 It was very basic, but it was reliable anyway, and, you know, no problem. So uh, maybe more competition might do it. David Cohen, I hate Trump, but trying to get him for paying for sex is, 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 is stupid. I mean, what I want to know is Stormy Daniels. I mean... She's an experienced, you know, bluey movie star, isn't she? She's, you know, I mean, Jesus, uh, would you attempt, would you attempt it as an ordinary, you know, an ordinary man, you know, not an athlete, would you attempt to get it on with a, with, 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 with a blue movie star, you know, you know like, like like that? I, th I think that would be a bit, a bit too much for me. Having a threesome and a bloody dirty massage parlour in, in Pantyre, I mean, that's, so, like, you know, they do all the work, but um, but Jesus Christ, you know, having Rumpy Pompey, he, he must be very, very confident in himself. I, I presume she was a good shag, anyway. Harry Holt, Harry Holt, okay, let's see, Harry, Harry Holt, glad to see you, mate. Love the varied drink selections. At least you're going to sleep well this evening. What's next? Oh, we'll see. I'll tell you what, I've got to do. Thing about the hot chocolate, it's so nice. You have to have another one straight afterwards. Back in a minute.
God almighty. I bet you never thought you'd live to see the day when I'm making late at night a cup of hot chocolate. Jesus, and it's lovely, lovely stuff. <clears throat> now, let's see. Yeah, number 14, boxing. What is something you wish you knew about life when you were in your 20s and 30s that would have had an impact in your life? Uh, probably Bitcoin. I, I wish I knew about Bitcoin. I would have got in there early. Maybe the internet. Well, even before, because it, it, it wasn't invented when I was in me. Well, it was invented when I was in me 30s any, anyway, but. You know, so something something that's changed the world, but you know, I wish I'd have prior knowledge of it. Paul Hoskin, Horlicks is nice with milk. Yeah, that's probably why I haven't opened uh, the jar of it, simply because, and um, you know, if I'm drinking drinks with milk, uh, you know, overnight, and that is going to boost up the calories. <coughs> let's let's see. Let's see, Dave E. Pye, must say you guys here always, and I get real-time inter interview. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, we've got a great little community here. Re re great little community. Let's see. T T Sandra, Sandra, I fancy a hot chocolate now. I don't bl I don't bl It's tasty. I, I, I have my uh, late afternoon, early evening sleep, and when I wake up, that is when I have a couple of hot chocolates. A couple of hot chocolates. And the first one goes down, but it, it helps to really drink it before it cools down. Well, that's bloody lot. It's Cadbury's as well. Cadbury's hot chocolate. Mmm, lovely, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Let's see. Now, McLaren F1 race, Philippine Pacer was almost 68 to the pound now. It was less than 65 when I went a month ago. Okay, T typical, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see. Harry Ho, great advice, Dad. What, what was? What, what was? Uh, I can't remember. I think I'm behind in the chat. I don't remember what that was. Sean Harris. <coughs> Sean Harris. I had a bad time in India in the late 1980s and became very ill. It's not unusual. I've not returned since. Does the chat thing I should consider a revisit and are there any recommendations? Well, I, I, I was in India for a month. And for the first couple of weeks, I was in Mumbai and Goa, yeah. And um, you know, I, I, it was a little bit out of seasons, and I wasn't really totally won over over by it. But I thought at least the um, what I did about Delhi Belly, at least that hasn't come true. For the first couple of weeks, that hasn't come true. So I'm eating eating okay, not a problem. And then in the rest, the, the other the other couple of weeks after that. That's when Delhi Belly did go uh, come through, and it was a bit of a bloody nightmare. I went, I went to Kerala after that, and you know that really uh, put me in a bad frame of mind. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Paul Blaster's a hard life being a manga. Okay. Tandra, well done, Eddie. Okay. Yeah, th thanks for that. And if, yeah, I really, I'm not kidding. I, it's not an April Fool. I really, really have kicked the booze. I, I mean, I've been keeping a little bit of alcohol like that. That that last beer it was hanging on for an eternity, and that last little bit of bit of rum, and I consumed them both in the early hours of the morning. And now I've got no alcohol at home. And I, you know, I I, <clears throat> I think that there's an idea about that. You know, rather than just quit straight away. Maybe to keep a little bit of alcohol at home, just so that you can stay away from it and you can keep it under control. I mean, because the fear was if I, if I found myself late at night with no alcohol, then I'm going to end up climbing walls and whatever. Now I I uh, you know, now I've got no alcohol at home, and uh, <clears throat> I don't miss it. I've got some nice little lemonades and diet lemonades, diet ginger beer. I kind of like that one. So when I'm watching a movie, it's nice to have that. And the thing about drinking a diet lemonade or a diet ginger ale or, or whatever, and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, but you do get used to it. The good thing about drinking, you know, a glass of that one after the other is that after a while, you just don't feel thirsty anymore. So the idea of having any beer or whatever, I mean, you don't really, really miss it. You know what I mean? 
So uh, yeah, this is I've given up booze. I've given up booze. Now wh wh when I when I'm travelling now, where that will be in a hot climate, yeah, you know, and I fancy a bit. Well, that it's I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah, but Iron Street, a barrel of oil went up twelve dollars in the rising. Yeah, not getting any better, mate. Davy Pye, drive a month or two, see how you feel. Oh no, it's here to stay, mate. It's here to stay. Uh, like I say, when I'm travelling, it might be a different story. But back here in the UK, I'm not going to be drinking. I am not going to be drinking any alcohol because I like the. I'm actually quite clean living right now. You know, you maybe you never ever thought of me as like you know, no goody two shoes. But I actually, I don't, I, I, I've never taken, you know, the illegal substances. I've never smoked. Uh, and as for drinking, well, I did drink, but I don't even do that now. So I'm actually very, very clean living, you know. I mean, whereas, you know, you know, I, I, I thought, you know, I'm not going to, I'm 60 now, I'm not going to live much longer. Now I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I might just, I might just live for the next 20 years. You never know. I also eat a lot of fruit daily. I have my blender. I throw a lemon in there. I throw an orange in there. I even bought spinach. I even bought some spinach and threw some spinach in the blender. A lemon, orange, and spinach, uh, you know, mix. It's actually quite tasty. So I'm, I'm, I'm into the healthy eating stuff nowadays. David Coleman, I can't believe you're off the alcohol. Wow, after so many years. I mean, it is so many years. Jesus, it is so many years. God Almighty. Last, last, last time I was uh, last time I was I was totally alcohol free was when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister. How long ago was that? <clears throat> I like the bar girls like my chips crinkly. Okay, Paul Austin. Let me see now. Okay. Harry Holt. Uh, 42 minutes. We've got, we've got a big question. We've got a big question to talk about. That's coming up soon. Harry Holt, right down next to the says it sounds as you think by doing your bit of captain drinking, you'll be able to travel more. That's the end. Okay. Uh, that That's the end. Uh, that, okay. That's fine. Thanks for that, mate. Anyway. Gemini Star, good evening. Johnny B, good for you. How long are you planning on doing this for non drinking? Permanently, permanently, mate. Permanently, it's here to stay. Tito Letty is here to stay. Davey Pie, honestly, Ed, you look better already. Oh, God, well, thanks for that. Thank you for that. Hard tulip. This is lovely. This, this hot chocolate is bloody lovely. Mmm, yummy. Hard tube, Eddie's supposed to eat hot chocolate just before bedtime. Milk relaxes the brain. There's no milk in this. That's why I haven't opened it. I can have this with hot water. That's why I haven't um that's why I haven't had uh, you know the Horlicks because you you'd have to have that with milk. Mm, lovely, lovely. <clears throat> Is this number 14 boxing? Eddie, you traveled a lot in Brazil and South America. Was it safe out there? Well, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I never had a problem. And I walk everywhere. I, I there are some moments where when you think I was a bit foolish there, perhaps I shouldn't have walked. I was some towns in Colombia, even Medellin. I've walked around in the night time, you know, and I've gone down dark alleyways towards my hotel. And you know, you you do some things when later on you think to yourself. Oh, that wasn't wise of me. I won't, I won't do that again. But no, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm, I'm still here. Don't forget. Don't, don't forget uh, uh, number fourteen boxing. <clears throat> a lot of people who tell you these horror stories are people who've never actually been there. It's not first hand knowledge. It's second, third, or fourth hand knowledge. Uh, yeah, you know. <clears throat> I mean, when, when I was before I done my six months South America. It's, yeah, and, you know, I was talking to the, these people, and and um, and and this chap, he said, "Where are you starting off when you're six months in South?" I said, "I'm starting off in Brazil." And geez, his his attitude was typical armchair 
that's a bit typical arms here. That's a bit. oh no, don't go there, mate. Don't go to Brazil. I've heard all about Brazil. He hadn't been there. I've heard all about Brazil. Um, I've got a friend who's been there. You'll get mugged, robbed. Uh, you'll get a gun put to your head before you even step up the plane. You'll get eaten by, by car. Oh, it's terribly dangerous. Don't go to Brazil, mate. Do not go there. And <clears throat> and I said, and I said to him, I said, well, if, if you. I said, so all of this is going to happen to me when I'm in Brazil, is it then? He said, yeah, yeah, mate, I've heard all about it. I said, well, it didn't bloody happen last time I was there. He said, oh, you mean you've actually been there before? I said, yeah, I've been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. Uh, you, know, you know, I'd be fun with the ladies and all kinds of bloody stuff. And it's like we just clapped it. He, 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 he's, he, was, he didn't realize he's actually talking to someone who's been there and done that. I can't stand the anti-air experts. They get on me bloody nerves. I, 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 before I travel around South America, I had all kinds of stories about, you know, I'm going to get eaten by cannibals and all the rest of it. Um, and none of these stories was first-hand information. It was always my mate's cousin's brother-in-law has been there. So... You know, my advice, just, just be careful who you listen to. If you're going to listen to anyone, listen to someone who's actually been there. Don't listen to someone who's given you information on these countries uh, because his mate's been there. That's second. And once it's second hand info, I promise you, it goes downhill. So anyway, that's all I'll say about that. Stuart Rideout Nash, Galaxy is the best chocolate. Can you get that in drink form, can you? Can you get that in drink form? I'll give that a go. <clears throat> Let me see. Mr. Tidy Garden. Ed, I got drunk as a skunk this weekend. Puked my heart up. Thinking of packing it in as well. Uh, well done, fella. You're an inspiration to stay sober. Okay, good, good, for, good for you, mate. I'm only up at the birth of it. This, April the 3rd, is the first day. This I posted on Facebook today, April the 3rd, because I'm going to go look back at that post in a year's time. And um, I'm not, it's here to stay. It's here. I'm not going to go back to the alcohol. I'm not going to, because, you know, once your mind's cleared of it, um, you, you, you see the stupidity of it, the amount of, the amount of alcohol I was ordering from Asda and, oh, ridiculous. Absolutely. The amount of bloody bags of bottles and cans that I was taking out to, to the rubbish uh, in a few days. Absolutely awful, awful. Okay, so anyway, where are we? <clears throat> McClane Farmer wrote, anyone heard about the emergency alert on all mobile phones in the UK on 23rd of April on St. George Day? They say it's to warn citizens of severe weather. And, uh, you know, well, it, 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 there's going to be going to be missiles flying. I don't think they give you any warning of it, mate. No, not weeks, weeks at one. David Coleman, Britney Spears was hot back in the day. Uh, oh, oh, bloody, if, if songs were bloody awful. Absolutely. I like some, some of the female singers. I like Amy Winehouse and other people, but I don't like it. I don't like Britney. Paul Hoskin, Golden Brown. Love that. Love that one. Oh, yeah, the, the Stranglers. Yeah, wonderful. I think we're well behind the chat here. So thanks for, thanks for all you guys for, for tuning in tonight. And hopefully there hasn't been too many... Complaints about the internet. I said, I'm, I'm on a wing and a prayer with the internet right now. But if it's behaving, let, let's just let's just open this. And it's not going to be perfect, but <clears throat> Let, let's see. <clears throat> Neil Flea used to go to the Swing and Apple on Wood Street in Liverpool City Centre back in the day. Great punk, uh, great punk music played there. Um, they also had Eric's, didn't it? Uh, Liverpool's always, e even though like it was, it, it was a problematic place in my day. One thing, it always, always, always had great live music and nightlife. You know, you could always get a good live band in, in Liverpool. No, no, no problem with that at all. Richard Charland. Are you skint yet? You get get better internet. No, I'm not skint, and I am getting better internet. But it's not. I'd have the internet now, uh, the better internet now, uh, except they can't deliver it until May. So there anyway. Mark, I look nice to hear from you, my friend. Nice to hear from you. I hope all's well. But Mark, I, Mark, I'm kind of envious. Mark lives in Minnesota, and obviously they're deep in snow there. But from the pictures, I must admit. 
I must admit, I would love to see a proper winter wonderland. And I'd love to open my door and see lots of snow and snow on the because we don't get that where I live. We, we just get rain here. And anyway, nice to hear from you, Mark. Oh, Paul's well, mate. Let's see. Paul Hoskin, would you get a what would you get an electric bike head? Would you get an electric bike? I'll put that on the screen. No, no, no. I've, I've seen them. I've seen I've seen them. The uh, so because some of them electric bikes they go you know you know you know what you know uh, what whatever uh they they, they look dangerous to me because i see some young youths riding them and all of a sudden they've gone from zero to to 60 in a matter of no time they look a bit dangerous to me i mean i mean the thing is i i like cycling when i was younger and even i i went through a phase when i was about 30 30 and i i, I cycled a lot but then i bought a bike about 10 years later and i just couldn't get anywhere and you know because uh, i put on weight by, by them and also, with, with regards to cycling, when you get older, you become more conscious of going downhill and gathering speed on, on, a, on a push bike because, um, <clears throat> you know, you're young, you know, speed, you know, you zip it all over the place. Well, but when you get older, you do become conscious that if you fall off that bike, you always do yourself a serious injury. So, no. But I have. A, but do you know something? Do you, do you know something? It's... Um, I haven't got a car at the moment because I don't need one, re 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 really. But um, it has crossed my mind to buy a new car, you know. Now, because what it is now that I'm totally off the beer, I'm totally alcohol free, I can go driving anytime I want. Um, and uh, it might be an idea, maybe, it'd be nice in the summer. It's crossed my mind rather than go abroad in the summer. It's crossed my mind to buy myself a nice little car and maybe do a little bit of traveling around, you know, the rural part of the southwest of England where, where I live. It might, might be nice. We'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about it. We'll see about it. Let's see. Let's see, Jill. I have you tried unplugging the router and waiting for a few minutes to, to reconnect? No, it is, I have I've tried everything. It, it it is um it is what it is. It it is what it is. It is what it is, mate. Sometimes others can piggyback on your wife and slow it down. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. It's not perfect. But I'm just looking forward to getting the fiber fitted uh, at the beginning of next month. <coughs> Bryn Roberts, book September at 7.25, Manchester to Bangkok via Roma. That sounds good. The thing about those Middle Eastern airlines, they they do they do some good um they do do some good they're good airlines, some of them. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> Kiki and Jasmine at Sale of Love. OPEC just cut production, well, so oil is going to go up, which will affect flight prices. Long haul economy is too uncomfortable for me because I'm six foot three. Premium economy or business class are my only choice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, the flights are not getting any better. There's not, not the flights are not going to get any better. <clears throat> Quinn AFC, I've had a few threesomes. Sorry, we don't have boastful people on here. Oh, were they any good, buddy? Were they good? <clears throat> Bart Simpson, have you seen the film Midnight Express? Uh, great, I've seen it many, many times. Wonderful, great soundtrack. Well, yeah, wonderful, wonderful film. But, so for, there are still some people, you know, who, who, who are afraid to go to Turkey because they, they think of that film Midnight Express, but a uh, yeah, wonderful movie. It, it, that is a film uh, to see and see again. Gemini Star, Eddie, I think you need to upgrade your internet. I, I, I'm upgrading it, but it's going to take a month before they can come out and fit the uh, stuff. It's I can't, I can't, I can't hurry them. You know, it is it's what it is. Nick Barton, you're in the alleyway again. Okay. Yeah, Ed Vesa on the world. I agree with you. The company the internet won't get. Slow. Oh, it will be a router. Try restart. I do that. I, I do. I do try restart the router. I do start, start the router. Okay, Mark Holly, proud of you. Guys. Okay, yeah, thank you. Hey, April the third is my day. It's my day. This is the day when I gave up alcohol. Now, 
I have given up alcohol in the UK, but as long as I'm in the UK, even if I if, if I go for a night out, which I very rarely, rarely do because the pubs are a rubbish here, but it's not really got a great deal to offer me. <clears throat> but um, I'm it, it, when, when I'm abroad in a hot climate, it may be a different story then. And all I'll say is I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But while I'm in the UK, no more alcohol. Uh, you know, definitely not. Sean Harris. Uh, yeah, Ma Mark Alec. I'll put that one on the screen there. I'll put that one on the screen. Fortunately, your audio was fine. I used to love listening to the BBC Four over shortwave in the early 70s from there. Oh, okay, good for you. All right, thanks for that, man. At the end of the day, this is Monday night, and even if my internet isn't very, very, even if my, you know, uh, the picture isn't very, very clear, I mean, you know what I look like anyway. And, and, um, as long as the audio is okay and I can read the comments and everything, you know, I think we can still do the stream. Thanks for that, Mark. Anyway, Gemini Star. <coughs> Congratulations on your newly signed. I tell you what, I'm going to skip. Sorry if I'm, if, if, if I'm uh... <clears throat> Oh, let's let's see. What, what are we talking about now? Marty said, the unreasonable. Yeah, I think we're talking about that rat, uh, you know, who, who has been put in prison for 42 years. But, um, oh, I, it's, I, I, you know, I, th I think it's, all, it's on the news anyway. And, um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's it's you know, I just I just hope they got the right person because it it just didn't seem to me that the the evidence was rock solid. I mean, you know, that it was that you know, it's beyond all that because other other killers, other suspected killers, have been released from prison a few years later because you know they you know they um, they appealed and they found that the evidence wasn't uh, as, as solid. But uh, you know, I hope they've got the right person, and you know, I hope he bloody dies in prison. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to shop through this because there's something that I do want to talk about. It's been in the news today. Yeah, David Coleman, I was thinking, I was thinking of taking Scoot Airways to Jamaica. It is really cheap. Okay, good for you anyway. Yeah, good, for, good for you. Uh, <clears throat> number 14, boss, I'm still recommending visiting the US. I'd love to visit the US. I really, really would. But for, for, I, I, it's not somewhere I would go for a couple of weeks. I would like to go for months uh, to... It's in the US, or at least a month, and I think you know it's really enjoyed. I think uh, I'll look into that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see anyway. We'll see. Yeah, Harry Hope, brilliant. There, get that hot chocolate on the. You know, I'm tempted to have a third. Well, that was so nice. There. Okay, so let's see. Okay, cheers, hot chocolate. Okay. Oh yeah, Mark Alec. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. If you were, if you were a young man. Mark Alec would have bought stock in in uh, in in Apple computer in, in Apple computers. Yeah, sounds bloody good to me. Sounds sounds like a good idea. It's 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 it would have been great to you know you know have known what you know, you know you know what you needed to know back then. Uh, really. And Microsoft, yeah, Mark Alec, Microsoft as well. Absolutely, absolutely. I would, I would have taken a gamble on, on Bitcoin, but I think it's too late now anyway. What did he say? Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Number four. Okay, we'll come back to that question. We'll answer that question later. <clears throat> Reminds us that this question was the 90s the best decade. Everyone seemed much happier. Great news with Oasis, Prodigy, etc. Okay, that's a good question. Let's 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 do that uh, later. Okay. Now apologies for missing out on everyone because uh, simply simply we want to get get to the front and, uh, anyway. But there's a question I want to ask. It's been in all the news today, and um, <clears throat> we've got to be careful what we say here because we're going to say words that some people say. <gasps> He shouldn't have said that. Report him. He shouldn't have said that word. Okay, so we've got to be careful what we say here. Uh, let, let's see. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'll phrase a phrase like this. I'll explain what this is all about. Okay, I'll explain what this is all this is all, all about. Okay, so today. Uh, a lady called Suella Braverman. I mean, it rolls off the tongue like a brick, that name, doesn't it? 
rolls off the tongue like Suella Bravo. And bloody good. It sounds, it sounds like one of those, you know, you know, it sounds like something like Cruella de Vell or something like that. It's it's one of those, yeah, yeah, you know, anyone called Suella Braverman, you don't take lightly, you know what I mean? But anyway, somebody called Suella Braverman, it was the Home Secretary now, is the Home Secretary. And, and Rishi Sunak, it was our Indian Prime Minister. Well, no, he's English, he's English, he's English, he's English, he's English, he's, 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 not a, he's, he's English, he's our Prime Minister. The two of those have got together and they visited various places where, the, where there have been some heinous in, incidents over the years, places like Rotherham and Rochdale, where people of a Muslim origin from the country of Pakistan have been, <clears throat> you, know, where, where, you know, basically child grooming gangs. I, you know, people in Britain will know what I'm talking about here. It's all absolutely dreadful, and a lot of it wasn't investigated properly. And when it finally did come to light, we've seen the true heinous nature. I mean, a culture of getting these young girls, all these young, you know, white girls, uh, vulnerable young girls, and uh, people in Britain will know the story of this. It's absolutely evil and it's terrible. And uh, people are disgusted in this country that more wasn't done. And even our prime minister, our prime minister, said to, today that the reason it wasn't investigated properly is because people were afraid to be branded racist i mean the reason the police and everything they did want to touch it in case it caused yeah you know state of a bit of racism like you know this is typical of people from that origin and all that so it, it was really the really discussion and what we really need we really need tough leaders to go beyond all this political correct shite and actually speak their mind and actually do the things that the people before them didn't actually do. Okay. So somebody called Suella Braverman has been talking really tough today. I mean, this time, you know, she's been out in the uh, the four syllable, you know, you know, Pakistani uh, yeah, you know, origin people and and saying basically that it's um you know it's basically it's 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 their fault. Uh and she's been talking tough, and it's very, very impressive. But I couldn't help feeling there's a little bit of smarm about this. I mean, there's a little bit of making a name for herself, vote grabbing, winning over the public. So the question is, the question is, with regards to Rishi and Suella, the question is, are they just telling us what we want to hear? That's the question. Are they doing that? I mean, are they really sincere? Let's, you know, good luck to it if they're sincere and they really want to shock because, I mean, child grooming guys, I don't know what it's, it's absolutely evil and it's heinous. It's gone on. It wasn't investigated properly. A lot of those, you know, young, young teenagers, you know, suffered terrible. They're going to be scarred for life. It's evil. You can't take that lightly. But what we need is tough leaders in this day and age. If we're going to speak their mind to hell with offending people or to hell with PC. Speak your bloody mind and above all, do something about it. So there's the question. Are they just telling us what we want to hear? What do you think? Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, I've got to be, I don't want to you know, delve into anything that's going to get me into what YouTube. Bill Belkelso, Ed, a mosque where I live in Manchester, denied everything that he prayed in there, but he was filmed going in. A, a, a mosque where I, yeah, okay, okay. Bradley, Tommy Robinson was, I've never really watched that much of Tommy Robinson, to be honest. I know some people like him. I don't, yeah, yeah, like that, Tommy Robinson was a walking guy. I've never really watched that much of him, really. He, he seems like you know, he, yeah, I, I, I just haven't watched much. I don't know what he's all about, really. I, well, I've, I, I've got an idea what he's all about, but I've never really, really bothered watching much of him. Okay, here we go. De uh, Ian Bowden, nice to hear from you, Ian Bowden. Great to hear from you, mate. I had just a quick comment. You can tell the general election is next year as these Tories saying all the right things now but will they actually be acted upon so somehow i doubt it uh, yeah exa exactly i mean i believe it's it, i'll believe it when i say it we're, we're, i mean sue ellen is talking tough about the dinghies she, she is talking in the kind of language that the average man or woman in the street 
want to hear. Well, when 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 <clears throat> when uh, when Sue Ellis says, you know, in in my in my uh, in in my dreams, I would like to see all these you know dengue people sent sent on a plane to 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 uh, to, to land it. It will be. The other people say well, that Sarah shouldn't say it. she shouldn't say that. Whereas the average man in the street, the old, the, the voter, and often the older voter, will be thinking, "Good on you, Gail. Someone who talks sense for once. I'm going to vote for you. I'm going to vote for you, Suell, because you said that." I mean, it is all about vote at the end of the day. Uh, but you, you know, well, it's all about about votes. I would like to think that Rishi and um, Suella are sincere in all of this. I'll believe it when I say it. I'll believe it when I say it. Nice to hear from you anyway, Ian. David Coleman, London has followed them. The UK is terrible now. Kippo Machmach. Uh, I can't put that comment on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I can't put that comment on the screen, but I know what you mean. Bilbo Council, yes, they are. They are that, like all the ways. They, yeah, they always. T politicians always tell you what you want to hear. They always do. What bothers me so much? I mean, I, probably when I when I was young, but I don't like what disturbs me about the modern age is why why we're having so many problems and all this kind of stuff. Is that you know politics has got a constant revolving door. Yeah, you know how many prime minutes, how many people have been in and out in number ten the last few years? I don't like that. I mean, I mean, it's um, I, 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 you know, how many people have been in and out number ten? I mean, we need bloody good, strong politicians, but ones that are going to stay around. I would really, really like to to uh, believe what Rishi and what Suella uh, say about all of this, but are they absolutely sincere or are they just? Or is it just, a, you know, vote winning rhetoric uh, for them? Uh, you know, I would I would suggest it's probably the second one. Prime Street, most probably. Uh, Matthew Kite, probably. David Merton, of course they are. They're politicians. Okay, let's see. Harold Betterson, yes. Capo 17, Braverman and Sunak were, were, were just making headlines. Uh, but nothing will change. We we have had a lot of hot air politicians, haven't we? We've had an awful lot of hot air politicians. The serious stuff going on out there, especially with regards to immigration, getting out of control. And don't forget, I think, you know, this could be the tip of the iceberg, the immigration, because there's people being born in third world countries. The population, Wales population is ballooning out of proportion. And a lot of these people being born are being born in third world countries. Uh, to families that can't afford to feed them and to in, in countries that can't afford to look after them. And that's why they're heading this way, uh, you, you know. <clears throat> Cap you know, let's see. Uh, it's, I'm putting this comment on the screen because this, <clears throat> this is a really, really good comment. James Reborn, I hate people, please. By the way, Eddie, you're looking really sexy tonight well you know if i'm looking sexy if you want my body and you think okay all right thank you nice of you to say so david coleman david coleman is a comment from canada the people in toronto can't say anything too much political correctness it's all black oh god almighty god almighty Hey, I mean, do you know what one thing that bloody disturbs me and all, all, all of this stuff is that the words freedom of speech seem to be forgotten about. I mean, you know, freedom of speech, man, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. I mean, everybody should have the bloody right to freedom of speech in the modern age. Absolutely. It seems to be forgotten about. All this politically woke correctness bollocks seems to have washed away freedom of speech. McLaren F1 race, yeah, a lot of political correctness got in the way. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Harold Patterson, the answer is hell yeah. Okay, you you think so? Okay, you think that they're uh, they're not they're not uh, yeah yeah are they just telling us what what we want to hear? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll go along with that. London Cab Thailand. London Cab Thailand. Let's see. Uh, where where's he gone? He's there somewhere. He has gone somewhere. Okay. It's over. Just enjoy the years we've got left. Okay, fair enough. But you know, I'm 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 tempted to agree with you there. 
just you know think of yourself and just enjoy enjoy the years you, you, you've got left and the world tears the crap but no i mean there's some heinous things and when i hear stories well no they're not stories i'm sure that they, 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 they actually happen but when you hear uh, what happened to these these young you know these young children uh, you, you know, but by, by these grooming gangs, it's it is just absolutely evil. It's absolutely evil, and you know you, we need strong leaders, really, to sort it out and take an iron rod. But here's something, in case I forget to mention this, is something, is something to bear in mind. Okay, we've got Rishi, who is uh, Indian origin. He's British. He's British, yeah. But you know, he's, he's British. You know, you know, Indian. Origin. We've got Suella. She comes. Where does she come from exactly? Where does her heritage come from? I'm not quite sure. It's sure about that. But basically, Rishi is Hindu, and Suella is of a, a, a Buddhist religion. And Hindus and Buddhists are not really very fond of M's. M Muslim. They're not really very fond of. And basically, where, where, so when Sue Ellen and Rishi, you know, say it's their fault, remember, they're not really the best of friends. I, I mean, Rishi and Sue Ellen may be the best of friends, but the other religion that was going on in Rotherham, places like Rotherham, Hindus are, are not really very fond of those people anyway. So always bear that in mind. Always bear that in mind. You know, always bear that in mind. Not all Asians are the same. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Singapore, Dan. Uh, politicians promise and promise and never get anything done. That's how they keep getting elected. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a, it, it's it, politics become a bloody farce, hasn't it? You know, with what's his name? You know, Boris. I mean, if he was the best bloody thing that we had, Coco the Clown. Capo 17. How many times have we heard? That there will be an inquiry so that this never happens again. We don't want it happens again. Um, well, at the very, very least, yeah, you know, at the very, very least, uh, uh, both both um, Suella and Rishi have used quite explicit language uh, and have immense words in pointing the blame at um, basically the Pakistani community, uh, who are predominantly Muslim. Um, <coughs> uh, they haven't meant, meant any words, words about this. And maybe it's good that they, I, I, I do support, you know, them bringing all of this, you know, saying the kind of things others don't have the guts to say. I always, always su su support that. But I just like to think it, it's actually getting things done. That's, you know, that's the proof of the pudding, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, and as for, they, they want, they, they tell us what we want to hear simply because we will vote for them. We will vote for them. I mean, the thing is, is, is um, what's his name? Keir Starmer, who looks like Barney Rubble. I mean, would you trust him with all of this? I wouldn't. At least at least these people are telling us what we want to hear, you know. I just hope it's not all they're doing. Matthew Carter, it's sad that we have to wait for people of an Indian origin to say things English politicians should have said 20 years ago. I very good remember Jack Straw did sort of say, say something. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. David Coburn, the Mozzies will be the majority in 10 years in the UK. They did the math. There will be no English people left. Really, I mean, probably the most common name for the, for, for the baby boy is, is Muhammad, isn't it? That's the top name born in England in this day and age. Paul Laskin, if only Ed was Prime Minister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you suggested that we should have dirty massages on the edge of, end of every street. Is that what you suggested? Barry's consultation with David Cobb, a long time Okay. Okay, let's see. Where are we now? Let's see. Where, where, okay, I'm almost up to date on the chat. Sean Young, I want to vote for the party that supports working class males. No idea. <laughs> it does sound, I think that's a bit sexist, that mate, isn't it? Singapore, Dan, at least you don't have 12 million illegals crossing the border last year. Is that, is that, you're talking about America from Mexico? Is that what you're talking about right now? David Coleman, David Coleman, if you're a straight white male in Canada, you are nothing. I'm a minority in my own country. Really? Really? 
I've never been to Canada. You know, my image of Canada is, you know, the Rocky Mountains and and that wonderful landscape and and uh, you know, really laid back chilled out you know people mounties with the hats on and you know and all this kind of stuff is it, is it really as bad as that david oh, you know i just oh well I, well i must i must admit i must admit i i went to germany about i traveled through germany about six years ago six or seven years ago, and i i thought it was terrific. i thought the german people were very very hospitable and and some of those cities and the towns and Bavaria and everything germany is wonderful but i do remember uh, I remember arriving in Munich and I traveled around Munich and I went around um, some of the, you know, the bars in the town center. And I, and I looked around at Munich and I, I always thought to myself, do you know what? I, I always thought that Germany was, um, especially somewhere like Munich, Bavaria, it was always full of blonde haired, blue eyed people. Uh, not the case, not the case at all. Not the, oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely not the case anymore. David Heisenberg lookalike. David Heisenberg lookalike. David Heisenberg. Rishi Suel and the new Scottish First Minister is a Muslim guy. There is a pat pattern there. Yeah, we want to discuss, discuss this. I mean, I don't know too much about the new um, Scottish Met Minister, um, but Rishi and Suel uh, are not Muslims. They're not, and they, they, they're different. They, they, they're different. These leader of um london the the mayor, mayor of london he's 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 from the muslim origin but rishi is not they're not i mean rishi is hindu and suella is of a buddhist religion she she's actually of a buddhist religion so they're very very different to, to, than the other religion who they are denouncing you know think about it they're all not all asians are the same so you know they're not all the same. Tim and I start Rishi Sunak at the helm. God help us! I don't know. I don't know. Is it going to be any better or worse? I mean, you know, is it going to be any better or worse? You never know. You never know. He might perform. He might perform miracles. Maybe the economy is all important, and maybe Rishi could be the man who will sort the economy out. You know what I mean? You never know. Scenarios, politicians and salespeople are all alike. Lies and both. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Mazza, hey Eddie, I just left your home city on a ferry to Ireland. Oh, hope you're well. Cheers. Oh, that sounds like quite exciting. Huh? I hope you're not too cold. That's I'm sure that's bloody gonna be freezing out there right now. But good luck to you, mate. Good luck to you. And he's on a pint of Guinness tonight. That, having a Guinness on a ferry from Liverpool to 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 uh, uh to ireland that's that sounds quite exciting so yeah you, know, you enjoy yourself i hope you're in a nice cozy little bar area on board that ferry that that would be yeah that'd be fun that absolutely fun but clan f1 race stop boris bashing he was like relief through 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 uh, the antiris okay fair enough okay here we go is mister is mister is Mr. 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 Come on, let, let's see. Let's get this comment on the screen. Come on, come on. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? That's a bit. I was not. It's not happening, is it? Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. I've an eighth of a bottle of rum in closet for years, and can I, can I, so you're a closet. You're a closet. Oh geez, I wonder if that are you. I can only remember remember why I stopped drinking it. High blood pressure and kidney destruction were amazing in the evidence, actually. And I don't know, and basically, I was shocked because I, I was actually wasn't aware until the other week. A bottle of spirits is how many calories that contains. Jesus Christ, I know you don't drink a whole bottle all in one go, but a bottle of spirits, you know, a bottle of rum, Jesus, that, that's very, very ridiculously high in calories. Anyway, all alcohol. In case you just tuned in, April the 3rd. It is a day to remember for me because it's the day when I finally kicked the booze. Absolutely. And it's and that's here to stay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, David Coleman, look at the riots they had between Muslims and Hindus just a while ago. Yeah, that's that's the only answer we're against that one. Yes. You know, I think you'll understand what I'm saying. 
JKA three bomb. Buddhism has always appealed to me. It's comforting to know it's not up to me if I have an accident when driving drunk. Seven people <laughs> to, to have drunk seven people on my motorbike. Okay, fine, fair enough. David Coleman, they did a poll in South Africa. Most of the black people want to play all of the white people back in back in power. Well, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't been. South Africa is not a country I've been, been to, but it seems to be. I, I don't think I'll be going there. It seems. I, I, I you know, I, I don't go by what, what, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend tells me, but I've seen the, I've seen the I mean, documentaries on it. I, I think I'll give it a miss. Gemini Star, French have a spine, unlike us. Yeah, I mean, the French are out there protesting about uh, the rise in their pension age. I mean, don't forget about, about uh, 20 odd years ago, they, there was a fuel strike. And uh, the fuel was getting uh, very, very expensive in Britain. And, um, you, you know, but, you know, the fuel, uh, you know, when it went on strike, there was a fuel strike and you couldn't get fuel just about anywhere. And people were protesting about it and all of this in England. But we only did it. Because we've seen the French doing it first. They did a few weeks before we did it. So, I mean, the French, if they don't like something, they will bloody get out in the streets and let their voices be known. Capo 17, Mounties get, get their man. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Seaside Freddy used to be interested in birds until I saw the monks leading the charge in the... Uh, oh, go we don't that seems really really too heinous that seems absolutely too heinous uh, that i don't want to talk about that we really are getting into dark territory now wanderer he's a lumberjack and he's oh that's the monty python i'm a lumberjack and i'm okay oh my oh absolutely wonderful monty i mean why was that funny i mean why was that funny but monty python were monty python weren't they they were absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful anyway i'll tell you what Let's see. Let's see. On a personal note, the premium bond draw comes out a minute. Let's go for some B and D for my a premium bonds. I mean, you know, when I was looking at some premium bonds, I never got around to. Apparently, you know, you you know, you got more chance of winning the bloody lottery of winning anything on them. If David Cohen, I should have said Toronto. It's bad. There's some really great places in Canada. Uh, okay, fair enough. You know, Toronto is a city, but you know, I was not say it's good luck to you. Uh, Capo says in Muslim, in Muslim Turkey, there are chairs for every religion at Christmas. There are Christmas trees put up in every in every city centre. Uh, Christmas trees put up in every city centre. I, I mean, I, I like the chair. I, I like the chair. So I lived in, I, well, I, I lived sporadically in Turkey. Uh, you know, for a while, I got to know them quite well. And they'll do anything to please the expats. I mean, you know, they'll put on a bloody father Christmas costume if it, if it, you know, if it makes the expats happy. They're cool. I, I like I like Turkish people. I do I do I do like Turkish people. And, and Turkey is a beautiful, beautiful country. Anyway, it is Suella and Rishi just telling us what we want to hear. Only time will tell. Seeing is believing. Okay, so let's get that off the screen. So anyway, that chap he said, I can't remember what his name was. Was it something fourteen? Was it something fourteen who said it? Let's just finish off with a little lighter-hearted one. Uh, uh, I'd say we'll rephrase it in another way because he mentioned the 1990s being cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, decade, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's just do this. Now, the 1990s, I, I liked all that Brit pop stuff and Oasis, and I even like some of Blair and some of the other. I mean, they were like young bands who were doing 60s style music in the middle of the 1990s. And it was cool, but it quickly, like any fad, it quickly played out. But um, the 90s was a bit late, you know, late, late for me. I go back further than that. But anyway, it is a question for you. Something along those lines. What was the coolest decade you remember? What was the coolest? I mean, I was born in 62, so I don't really remember. Much. I don't really remember anything in the 60s, but I... Yeah, I remember the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and all of that kind of stuff. So, final question: What what was the coolest decade you remember? Which is the one where, where, which you have most most affection for? Let's see. Yeah, 
Gemini still have most churches in my area converted into apartments. Yeah, I know some of them are like that. I know can, can churches that have been converted into snooker halls. I even knew, I even knew a church that was converted into a rave club. You know, all these bloody space cadets coming out of there in the early hours of the morning. Hilarious. Brian Street, 70s as a teenager in East London. Okay, that's that sounds good. That sounds good. David Martin, 60s and 70s. Matthew Carr, like the 80s. This means nothing to me. Oh, the, oh absolutely. The 80s was cool. But funny enough, I was always behind the time. When, in the 1980s, when you had all these modern romantics listening to all this synthesized electronic music, I was still listening to Deep Purple and Led Zeppelin at that time. Stephen Gamble, uh, Singapore dance says 70s. Sean Harris, uh, 70s. Gemini Star, 80s and 90s. Okay. Uh, let's see. Stephen Gamble, definitely the 90s. Grunge, Brit Pop, and the rave scene. De Stephen Gamble, definitely the 90s. Grunge, Brit Pop, and the rave scene. Great. Uh, yeah, they were probably, I, mean, I was in my 30s then, so I was a little bit, uh, you know, past it by, by, by then. But I did like Oasis, even though some of the, a lot of their lyrics were absolutely crap. Um, uh, but uh, let, let's see what was the same. But that grunge, now that grunge music, I was never a fan of that. I like, I like the rock music. The thing about grunge, the only thing I'll say about that is that it was appropriately named. I mean, when you think of the word grunge, what do you think of? You think of something that's murky, slimy, muddy, and that's exactly what that music sounded like. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't really like that. Yeah, Capo 17. Yeah, this, yeah, absolutely. There you go. Let's see him get that one on the screen. Let me see. Okay. Capo 17, 70s for the music, TV, and any Dracula films. Yo! Now you're speaking my language, mate. Ingrid Pitt. Oh, God, I'm Ingrid Pitt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely. Kiki and Jasmine, definitely the 90s in Barcelona during my university days. Great times. Okay, that's brilliant, mate. Good for you, mate. Sounds good. Why Why feels early 2000 with pure Kino. Do, do you know something? In that area, in the era in the 2000s, I don't really know, remember much about the media or what was going on because I was working so many hours in those days. I just never had time for TV or radio or I didn't know what was happening. You know, I just I was just working all the time. So I kind of I kind of miss all of that kind of stuff. Let's see. Here's, here's, a, here's, here's a good comment from uh let's let's see from JSK Reborn. It depends how old you are. Everyone's favorite area. Era has always been your your youth. I think really well the seventies. I mean, the thing the thing is the seventies was a bit of a bit of a contradiction because um, I'd, I'd say the seventies, yeah, because that that was kind of my my. I mean, I love seventies mu uh, movies. I love Clint Eastwood movies and and all of the great movies that were made in the seventies and uh, also the music. I mean, the thing is, you had all that pop. Don't know what was it called, glam rock, and a lot of that was fairly very crap and 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 whatever, but. In the album chart, it was a particularly the singles chart and the album chart. In the singles chart, you had glam rock and punk rock and whatever. But in the albums chart, around about seventy three, you know, you had the most wonderful albums of all time. You know, you know, Dark Side of the Moon, um, Led Zeppelin's albums, uh, Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. I mean, some of the best rock music of all time was made in that era. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that. I'd have to say the seventies and Deep Purple, of course, were one. And vampires, you know, the women were nice and hairy and all of that. I mean, what more can you possibly want? The scenery is might begin my age away. The 60s of me were brilliant. Great British bands and fashion. Well, I, I I don't remember the 60s because because I was too young to actually uh, remember the sex the 60s. I only remember the Beatles after they split up. But um I, I, I do love 60s music. I do love 60s music. Absolutely. If you're going to San... Oh, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I love 60s music. Flower power and all that kind of stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, the Lombard, 
the lumberjacks, David, the lumberjacks on the Canadian Monty. Monty. I mean, I've got, I was a very, very catchy tune that one. Sean Harris, Sparks of the first synthetic band. It really, really, I've never considered that before. They were pretty good. McLaren F1 race, I haven't really got a favorite decade. I'd say the 80s did sound good, but I went to school through that. I was missing. I think at the start of the 1980s, all of a sudden guitars were out and synthesizers came in, didn't they? And a lot of, because the thing is, we always grew up thinking that the 80s was the futuristic, the science fiction age. And that's how bands like Ultravox and bands like that came about. Although you also had great bands like U2 in the 1980s. The Wonder, 60s are the coolest bands. Clean the Beatles, Doors, Dylan has best. King's never been better. Okay, that sounds good for me. That sounds good enough for me. Teddy Jones, I was born in the 70s, schooled in the 80s, raved in the 90s, Thailand from the millennium. That sounds for me like you've lived a full life. Good for you, mate. Good for you, Teddy. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> hard shoe of sponge because it rhymes, okay? Gemini Star, Boy George, Karma Chameleon. Oh, that was irritating. That was that's what Karma Chameleon. I bloody hated that. That was one of those songs. Every time you switch the radio on, you heard it. And uh, he, he, he he made it. They made a couple of good songs, didn't they? And then they really went downhill after that. Oh, David Cole, the eighties were the best. So many girls having it away. Oh, good for you, David. Yeah, you dirty man. Good for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what spoiled it? You know, it's it like HIV, you know, AIDS, like came in from the and all of a sudden, like, you know, a lot of people got scared of that. But I don't know there was still, yeah, you know, there's still plenty of fun if you if you were a young man about town in the 1980s. Absolutely, absolutely. Why, why fools? Okay. McLaren, Ingrid. Oh, don't 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 talk about England like that. England England Pitt is wonderful. Let's see, England Pitt's beautiful. I seen her in an old movie the other night. What was it? The house that dripped blood. Oh, she was so elegant. What an awesome woman, England Pitt. Oh my, oh beautiful. Love her. Love England Pitt. David Heisenberg, fifties and sixties. Okay, but it was like seventies, eighties. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Hard Tulip, 80s Billy Joel. We've got a Billy Joel fan here. I suppose he's, you know, not to everyone's taste. Nick Barton videos, the 70s were the best. I went to the Isle of Wight. <coughs> Hendrix Bart, uh, Fist Glastonbury, Glastonbury Fest. Well, that sounds good. Sounds bloody good there. Yeah, you know, Sean Harris, best movie decades, 1970s. I'll go along with that. I mean, Clint ruled in the 70s. He was the main man. <clears throat> in the 70s, Dirty Harry and all of those movies, the outlaw Josie Wales, but there was plenty of other great movies and, you know, you had the French Connection, the Godfather movies, lots of wonderful movies about in, in, in the 70s, absolutely. London Cab Thailand, did you ever see Mae West live and come up and see it? Never, never had the pleasure of that one, funny enough. I like, she was funny though, she was funny. Okay, so anyway, we've been on for an hour and thirty-two minutes. This hasn't been this internet hasn't been bad. I mean, I mean, you know, you you may get a distorted image, but at least it's something on a Monday night, isn't it? And we found things to talk about any anyway on a Monday night. So what the hell else is going on? So I'm going to finish in a minute uh, anyway because we've done um, one and a half hours, and I'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget. I mean, I thought last week, especially when they said to me that my internet. Um, my, my internet, you know, won't be able to, you know, get sorted to begin the mail. I thought, oh, Christ, what am I going to do? But no, it, I think we can keep going anyway. We can struggle a little bit with the internet, but as long as we can do something through the week. And anyway, we've had well over, I don't know, 140 in the chat or something like that uh, uh, tonight, okay? So I'm going to uh, say good night anyway, and I'll be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock, okay? Remember, it you know, so as far as the internet goes, some days are better than the others. So you never know what the internet's going to do. I've, I've got a bit of a dodgy system now, as you, as, as you know. As, as, as you know. So I'm, I'm going to say good night any, anyway. Well, thanks for coming along, guys. And anyway, we've had what one and a half hours of fun, uh, fun, excitement and uh, action, excitement and adventure all the way. 
Uh, I'm off. I'm off the booze uh, inde indefinitely, and um, and uh, you know I'm feeling okay, and hopefully you are too. Anyway, yeah, McLaren of one maybe you wish you will sort your broadband out in, in, in more. Okay, London, Cantown, night, night, everyone. Matthew, Matthew Cartwright. Uh, okay, sceneries. John, John, six, uh, fifteen sixty. Uh, Michael Genius, uh, Matthew Cartwright. F1. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks for a lovely evening, and I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock.